I need to replace my little giant condensate pump or run a PVC pipe to the outside of the house. AC unit is in my attic. Old pump was 230 volts, but in looking at buying one online, the plug is your regular 115 volts 3 prong. The old pump was hardwired inside the AC unit, which has four incoming wires, red, black, white and green. Which pump should I buy and how do I wire it? The, the black, white and green wires. You're better off sticking with a 230V pump. Here's one at Home Depot http colon slash www.hamadepot.com slash p slash little giant vcma 20 ulst 230 volt condensate removal pump 554,461 204,481,242 if you really want to use a 115V pump you wire white to white black to black, green to ground or green and wire nut the other red 230V lead. Thanks for that Rick. I'm not sure how this service works. I have gotten answers before regarding issues with my car, and I know I had to pay before I received the answer, and then I had to rate the technician before he got paid. I see that my card has two transactions, both pending, for $23 and $5. It's never as simple as a single answer in question however. I've already bought one pump, and I paid about $80 for it, and I wired it up wrong, and I believe I burnt it up. It's a long story and I won't bore you. A plumber came out and wanted $690 originally to replace my pump, and all that was wrong was the little black nipple was broken. He pulled a 115 volts pump from his truck. I looked up the part number online, and found I could get that same pump for $40. I told him to hit the road. I got one at Granger for $80, cause the $40 ones you had to order, then I wired the damn thing up wrong, using red, black and green and it started smoking. So then I sorta swapped parts around between the broken nipple one and the new one, and hooked that one up the same way. It didn't smoke, but got hot and didn't pump. I'm thinking I should just go get the pump you mentioned, hook it up correctly, and be done with this. I see I could have bought that black nipple for $5 and that's all I needed. I had even asked the tech from the largest HVAC outfits in town if he could just replace that, and he acted like he had never heard of anyone doing that. I'm ranting now. Sorry. But just so I understand, how does a 230 volts pump work when it's designed to be plugged into a 110 outlet? Is it more powerful? I just like to know why I'm doing something. Thanks. One more thing. I downloaded the manual for the 230 volts pump and it says to wire it up just like you said for the 115 volts. I have no idea why I used the red and black wires. Maybe because it was about 130 degrees in that attic, and the unit is hard to get to. And of course this shit happens on the hottest day of the summer. Always. If you connect a 110V pump to a 220V power source it will either run twice as fast as it should for a short time then die or it will just burn up. A 220V circuit is made up of two 110V legs. So in this case black and white or red and white would be 110V, white is common. Put the two legs, red and black, together and you get 220. In case you're not clear on how the site works, I don't get paid until you rate me favorably. Maybe I'm asking too many questions at once. So let me make this simple, one question at a time. 
Why is a 230 volts pump preferable to a 115 volts pump? It's not preferable unless the wiring to your unit is 220 then it's more convenient to use a 220V pump. It's purely a matter of convenience. Why is it more convenient? Are they not wired the same way using black, white and green leads inside the AC unit? They both have three prong plugs. Three prongs is 110 unless you don't use a common. A 220 plug-in outlet is not configured the same way as a 110V outlet. I guess that's why I'm confused. If you look at the pick of a VCMA 20 ULSD 230 volt unit, that pump also has a three prong plug does it not? I thought the manual for the 230 volts unit said to hardware it the same way as the 115 volts unit. From the instructions, connect power cord to line voltage specified on motor and nameplate. There are nothing in the instructions about hard wiring this pump to a power source. These instructions are generic for both 220 and 110 models. I'm still confused. The cord that was on the original 230V unit had the exact same colored three wires inside the sheath, brown, blue and green. I don't understand your confusion. I've explained this several different ways. I don't know how else to put it unless you give me a specific course you plan on following then it explain it one more time. Let me put it this way. The 230V pump has three wires. Blue, brown and green. The AC supply lines are black, red, white and bare copper. I don't have an electrical outlet of any kind. I'm pretty sure the green wire from the pump goes to the bare ground wire. That leaves the blue and brown wires from the pump. What wires do I connect them to? Green is ground or the bare wire, blue and brown to red or black, doesn't matter which, wire not the white. To be clear one red or black lead to one blue or brown lead. Green to bare ground. Brown and blue from pump to black supply. That's not what I said. One more time this time so there's no doubt, brown to red, black to blue. What I was saying is you can also connect blue to red, black to brown, it doesn't matter. That's exactly how I wired my retrofitted pump and it never kicked on. I thought I had done something wrong. So if I buy a new 230 volts pump and wire it just like that I should be in business. Yes if you wire it like I said it will work. Be sure to follow the instructions since some of these pumps come with a furnace shutdown feature if the pump fails. They also come with a shipping tab slash bracket that keeps the float from bouncing around has to be removed for the pump to work. Hi Rick. Thanks for your answers. I've narrowed my solution down to two pumps. The one you referenced at Home Depot comes with 20 of tubing which I don't need. So the correct 230 volts pump is 554,455 which includes the safety switch which I need as the pump is not in the pan. The best price I can find on that pump is $60. However, if I go the 115 volts route, I can get the 554,425 pump for $34. It's the same exact specs with the exception of the voltage. You said the 230 volts pump installation is more convenient but you never explained why. There are the same three wires in the cord, and I would think they attach to ground, black and neutral white. If the specs are the same, which they appear to be, and each pump requires three wires to be connected, 
why wouldn't I want to save the $27? I'm asking if the 115 volts pump connects using ground, black and neutral white supply lines. Just to be clear. And are there any benefits to going 230 volts versus 115 volts? That's all I need to know and we'll wrap this up with a glowing recommendation. Like I said way back, a 230V circuit is made up of two 115V legs. Each leg one hot lead and neutral measures 115V. So if you want 115V you use one hot leg, red or black in this case, and neutral, white. Most lower amperage 230V circuits don't use a neutral. So your use red and black plus the ground. In this case ground is neutral, neutrals and grounds connect to the same bus bar and the breaker panel. Some 230V appliances are now required to have a separate neutral beside the ground, dryers, stoves, your furnace, and that's probably why you have a white lead in your cable bundle. And also like I said before there is no benefit to a 230V over 115V pump. Perfect. Thanks for the clarification. I understand. Seems like I might as well save the $27 and order the 115 volts unit with the safety switch. No more questions. Thanks for everything. You're welcome and thanks for using Just Answer. If you have a home improvement or appliance question and want to chat with an expert now visit justanswer.com slash YTHI.